to show you a couple of ways that you can enhance your website with background video and utilizing a video lead capture tool. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Now you've got all these elements over here to the left where you can add a video or an image. So we can drag and drop this, add a video. And when you come over here, you can select the YouTube video or a Vimeo, Vistio, custom embed or hosted video. I'm going to select hosted video. This is very common and you can easily upload your video. Let's go ahead and select the video file. I don't have one loaded, so I'm going to go ahead and upload a couple of video files. Let me bring in these two video files that we'll use for this fun little burger site that we're using. I'm going to go ahead and select this. When I double click it, it's going to let you know it's going to take a few minutes to encode. But also, you might want to add a thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and select this burger, delete this one, and you'll see right here I've got a Hosted video from my URL with my burger image. Let's go ahead and select save. And then when we preview, it may take a little bit to load. But when we select preview, you're going to see the thumbnail. And then when I press play, I can turn on the sound and see my video. That's just adding a very simple video element. But what if we want to put the video in the background? Leave this as an image. So let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to add an image here. Let's go ahead and select my image. We'll select this burger. And now what we want to do is we want to add a background video to the background. So when I select this button right here, when I scroll down, you're going to see I've selected the element, which is green. I'm going to come over here and where it says image or video, let's select the video. So I'm going to go ahead and check this and Let's add the video that I just uploaded. And you'll see right here, the video is going to show in the background. So let me select save. And when I select preview, you'll see the video playing in the background. Now my image is taking away from the video. If I wanna make my image just a little bit smaller, we can bring down the image. So there's a little trick in here in adding just the basic. I'm gonna just throw in a little line here with some text. I'm going to go ahead and delete this text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the padding to the top just a little bit more, the padding to the bottom a little bit more, the padding to the right a little bit more, and the padding to the left a little bit more. Then I can delete my video right there. And then over here, we definitely want to make sure that the site is full to its full width. And right here, if you notice when I added the video, it's going to show just to fit inside that picture. What we want to do in the video sections is fill it. We can make it a cover or we can fill the entire section. I'm going to fill the entire section. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more and then I'm going to bring the margin at the bottom a little bit wider. And then now what? watch what happens when we preview the video. Now, when you come to the site, you're seeing the entire video. We could change this text to a wider text. We could even remove this button. And now you've got a video background going on inside your site. You can get as creative as you'd like. You could make this where this doesn't show up and only the button shows up. We'll make that transparent. And you can see they can watch the whole video and select the button for the call to action. Lots of great things that you can do with video backgrounds. I recommend using video for desktop. It loads quick, it condenses the video, and you can get really creative. I wouldn't use a commercial video with words, maybe just images and things that you would use in a background video to just express it versus an actual video with words and details about your business. That's where you might want to put a video in the About Us section. Now, what we're going to do in the About Us section is let's go to the page and let's create a video lead capture. I'm going to go ahead and select our page and let's go to the about us page. And that's how you add a video to the background of your page. Let's go ahead and let me highlight this. We're going to go ahead and remove that background. And now what I want to do is I want to add a video with video capture. So I showed you how to just bring in a video into an element, a video in the background. Now what we're going to do is let's select the video again. And we're going to put this video right here. We're going to select our hosted video. And now we've got the video in here. Let's go ahead and select our thumbnail. 
Now we've got the burger and the video they can play. Right down here is going to be all of the controls to the video. Now, if you just added the video, you could have it autoplay, have them turn this off where they have to press play. You can allow play and pause, speed control, speed time, full screen toggle where they can blow up the video, enable, PIP on scroll. What this does is if as they're watching the video, when they're scrolling the website, they can actually see the video in the far corner. Let me save this so I can show you what that looks like. So let's say I'm pressing play and then I'm scrolling the website. Let's go ahead and hit preview. And as I'm pressing play, what this does is when you click it, you can see it in the far bottom right hand corner as I scroll the website. Pretty cool little feature there. I like turning that on in case they do want to see it. So we'll enable this on scroll. Down here at the very bottom, this is where we can generate leads from the video. So we've loaded our video, we've added our capture page. Now what we want to do is turn this little dial button on. Right here is where you can select how long you want the video to play. So if the video is three minutes, five minutes, maybe halfway through, you want to go ahead and select the play. I'm going to select this to go at one minute and 10 seconds. Below this, you'll see select the form. What form do we want to pop up? Let's just select a random contact us form. We'll just do a website form. And then down here it says allows user to close the form and continue. So once they've done completing the form, if you select that would allow them to close the form as they continue. So let's go ahead and press play and test this out with both of these. I'll toggle this on to allow the user on the form and then I'll toggle it off to show you what they both do. So we're gonna let the video play for about one minute. It's only 35 seconds. This is only a 35 second video. So we're going to go in and let's say at 15 seconds, save, let's preview this again. And right here, you'll see the little lock mode right here. And I'm watching the video. It's playing almost there. And here comes the form. If I select close out without filling out the form, that just allows them to continue watching the video without filling out the form. If you're really wanting to collect the lead information from the video, I recommend saving it. That way they do need to fill out the form before they can continue watching. So we'll let this go through again. You could be talking about things about your business, getting them excited, giving them enough information, and then getting to that point where it's like they definitely want to sign up. So let's just put in test. We'll just put in a test email. We'll put in a message. We're going to go ahead and agree. It says to keep watching, fill out the form. Once we've filled out the form, it'll then send a message and allow us to continue watching the rest of the movie. That is how you can capture leads from using the video lead capture form. And again, all we did was come in to the add elements and we dragged and dropped the video element. And rather than just having a video play, we scroll down all the way to the bottom to be able to generate the leads from the video right here. Always don't forget to select save. So you've got a lot of great tools to enhance your website, both background video, the video lead capture. You even got other things in here, like an image slider that you can bring through to slide through images, where over here you could add different images to make it look and feel like a video. You can add things like images here, links here, and any information if you wanted to get really crazy on adding image sliders. All of your elements are going to show up in elements. And remember, elements goes on top of rows, which goes on top of sections. You should feel really confident in utilizing your builder. And those are things that you can do to your website background, images, and video, and video lead capture to enhance your website.